so you know how sometimes your website or application can crash or become unavailable it's super frustrating for users right aws route 53 health check is a feature that helps you prevent that from happening by checking the health and availability of your servers and other resources basically you set up these health checks to ping your resources periodically and make sure they're working properly if a resource fails then the route 53 can automatically stop sending traffic to it and redirect traffic to a healthier resource or a healthy resource this helps ensure that your application or website stays up and running which is obviously super important if you want happy users so let's talk more about how route 53 checks the health of your resources here let's see the configuration of the health check on route 53 for your usage and as i already told you aws route 53 health check is a feature that helps you prevent problems from happening by checking the health and availability of your servers and other resources so for that we actually send a request and it basically hits the resource that works just fine so it's a happy resource and you get the proper response back moving on we send the request to a bad resource we get the error response if the endpoint doesn't respond to a request and then route 53 what it does is basically it starts to count the number of consecutive requests that the endpoint doesn't respond to and based on the way we have configured the health check it will fail it let's suppose you are checking for unhealthy responses up to three times in your health check if it doesn't respond three times it will mark the endpoint as failed post which we integrate it with cloudwatch alarms to notify the users with a notification about this error state using aws sns service so if you configure the notification for the health check cloudwatch triggers an alarm and uses amazon sns to send notifications to the specified recipient so with the proper configuration with health checks you can keep your resources healthy so as i already told you these cloudwatch alarms sns topics and all these don't get configured by default you have to configure them yourself so let's do this once again let us recap this once again so the point number one we configure the health check on route 53 for our usage we send a request here we send a request here it hits the resource that works just fine so it's a happy resource and you get the proper response back moving on when we send the request to a bad resource we get the error response that is if the endpoint does not respond to a request then what route 53 does is it starts to count the number of consecutive requests that the endpoint doesn't respond to and based on the way we have configured the health check it will fail it post which we can integrate it with cloudwatch alarm to notify the users with a notification about the error state using aws sns if you configure a notification for the health check cloudwatch triggers an alarm and uses amazon sns topics to send notification to the specified recipient so with the proper configuration with health checks you can keep your resources healthy and here we are so let's talk about the type of health checks we can make use of using amazon route 53 health checks so the first one is the health check that can monitor an endpoint the second one is the health check that monitors cloudwatch alarms third one is the health check that monitors other health checks and the last one is amazon route 53 application recovery control so let's discuss about them one by one so that we get a better understanding of what exactly they do so let's suppose you have a website or application you make sure it's always available so you want to make sure isn't it you want to make sure that it's always available and working well for your users AWS Route 53 Health Check is a feature that helps you to do that by regularly checking to see if your servers or other resources that you have are healthy. You can choose how often and from where these health checks send requests to your resources and they evaluate the health of the resource based on the response time and consecutive checks. And Route 53 then looks at all the health checks or the health check data or the health check data and considers the resource healthy if more than 18 percent of the health check reports is reported to be healthy so this way if there is a problem with one or two health checks in a particular location it won't make your whole resource look unhealthy so that's a good thing and there are different type of health checks you can use like http http.s or tcp and each one has different requirements for response time 
response time and status code so that is why it is written here for http and https health checks require a tcp connection within four seconds and http status code of two or three x x within two seconds and as i already told you https health checks don't validate ssl tls certificates and the tcp health check requires a tcp connection within 10 seconds so these are basically the criteria based on which it can mark the instance healthy or unhealthy now aws has this cool thing called calculated health check that helps you keep an eye on a bunch of other health checks at once so basically you can set up a parent health check that monitors up to 250 health checks or child health checks so the parent health check looks at how many of these child health checks are healthy and compares that number to a certain threshold for the parent health check to be considered healthy so basically a calculated health check monitors the status of other health checks and the parent health check that you have monitors up to 255 child health checks so in this case if like enough child health checks are healthy then the parent health check will also be considered healthy it's a way to quickly see if a bunch of uh, different resources are working properly without having to check each one individually so that's a very good thing and this comes down to the last topic of the day and that is going to be yes so let's talk about so you know how sometimes you use cloudwatch to monitor things like server performance or disk space well with aws route 53 you can create a health check based on a cloudwatch alarm so basically what it does is the health check will monitor the data stream for, uh, for the corresponding cloudwatch alarm if the data stream shows an okay state then the health check is healthy so if it shows an alarm state then the health check is unhealthy and if there is no sufficient information to determine the state like if the data stream is incomplete then the health check status will depend on a setting called insufficient data health status and one thing to keep in mind is that aws route 53 doesn't support cross-account cloudwatch alarms so you can only use cloudwatch alarms that are in the same account as your route 53 health check so remember this route 53 doesn't support cross-account cloudwatch alarms so you can only use cloudwatch alarms that are in the same account as your route 53 health checks finally when you first create a health check it's considered healthy until there's enough data to determine the actual status so it might take a little while for the health check to start showing accurate information so make sure that you keep an eye on the health check and the best thing is to get notified so if you have the option then please go ahead and create a cloudwatch alarm uh, which triggers a sns notification that can send you notifications to your email or your mobile phone via sms and that's a very good way to deal with this i hope you enjoyed this let's move on subscribe to the pythaholic youtube channel for awesome content and it's completely free because we believe the best time to start learning is right now